Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday. How's everyone doing? First break of the day is going to be a good one. 2020 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box jumbo. Random team break number five. Here are the combos right here. No paper based ships except for uh, Yankees Jason Dominguez, Royals Bobby Witt Jr., and a Oakland, it doesn't say it here, but Oakland A's um, Robert Possum. And uh, otherwise, no other paper ships. I think everyone knows this by now. Everyone knows the drill here. Big thanks, everybody, for getting into the action here. There are the two combos right here and then the rest of the teams. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a five, seven times uh, for each list. Also, I'm, for those of you watching live, I'm going to drop that checklist for you in the chat. There you go. Checklist is in the chat. Uh, so when you get a randomized team, you can figure out if you like it or not. Seven times for each list. Once again, two and five, seven times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Ryan all the way down to Matt Gomes. Two and a five, seven times. Teams, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and final time. After seven, Rangers on top. That's a solid team. Down to the Red Sox. Yankees down there, too. All right, so Ryan, you have the Texas Rangers. Matt Gomes with the Tigers. That's a solid team, too. Nick with the Nats. Jason with the Combo. Rockies twin spot. Mike with the uh, Mets, Nate with the White Sox, Jeff with the O's, Mark, Last Spot Mojo, Angels, Daniel with the Blue Jays, Matt Stone with the A's, Greg with the Braves, Jeff with the Padres, Brian Zeller with the Indians, Greg with the other combo team, Diamondbacks, Pirates, Stephen B with the Rays, Mike Samich, you got the Cubbies, Rebecca with the Mariners, Nate with the Phillies, Samich with the uh, Brew Crew, Matt Gomes with the Giants, Mike Samich with the Strohs, Zach Paul with the Royals, there you go, Chad with my Dodgers, Jason with the Cardinals, Brady with the Reds, Josh with the Marlins, Matt L with the Yankees, Matt G with the Red Sox. All right, so I'm going to alphabetize by team here. We're going to pause the video really quick and allow uh, a little time for people to kind of get a hold of what they could potentially get for their teams, maybe offer up some trades, and when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. And we're back. No trades. No trade chatter, no deals right here. So here we go. Starting the Saturday, the 30th, Ram Team 5, Bowman Baseball. A little, little tombstone on AMC on the background. It's a good movie. Let's pop open this jumbo. poster right here that they include. Alright, so we've got four boxes right here. You can see on the top camera screen, four boxes right here. Remember, Jumbo has three autographs per box on average. But I don't think I've, I don't know. I suppose they have to say that. Disclaimer. Now, if you've been watching Jaspies for a while, for these past what, six years we've been doing this, I know that the hobby cases are always a little bit of a bear. But these jumbo cases, I think move a little more smoothly, which I which I like. There's just a definitely a, a better rhythm to it. Only 12 packs, kind of thicker pack. It's a good run of paper and then a good run of chrome, and it's, there's just good good balance and rhythm to it. Now, one thing is that a red down there, or is that just a part of a chrome insert? We'll find out. One, uh, I don't think. 
I don't think we pulled a super fracture, eh? Ladies and gentlemen? I feel like I feel like now I feel like we've had enough of a sample size where I could say I kinda wanna see a super fracture now. I think we've pulled a printing plate. But I don't think we have seen a super fracture. So we're on the hunt for supers. Let's be super today, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Here we go. First autograph is going to be Chris Valimont. 122 out of 250. Purple Chrome for the Twins. That's going to be a combo team, Jason. Jason Brian Berghardt with that. I'm going to separate these chrome. It might be easier if I just do it right in front of me here. Separate paper from chrome as we go along. There's our first Jason Dominguez. Paper. Yankees. Matt Lordich. Got randomized the Yankees in this one. Good luck to you. Rest of the break. My chrome pile's right here, there we go, all right. There's Cody Hosey, speckle to 299. We'll sleeve and top load all of those before they go out. There's our first paper, Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. Number two overall pick in 2019. All indications say he's going to be the real deal Holy Field. And it is a red. It's Bryce Wilson. Bowman Scouts top 100, two out of five. Our first train whistle of the day. First break of the day, first train whistle of the day, first box of the day. Uh, Braves. Greg B. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Number 71 on the top 100. Like another autograph coming up. And it's going to be for the Brew Crew. That's Mike Samich with the Brewers. A little bit of. He's got a. If you can kind of see his autograph right there, he's got a big. Big loop there in the middle of his. Big autograph. Confident autograph. Mike Samich with the Milwaukee Brewers. There you go, Samo. Nice. It's a Mario Feliciano. What's going on, Mario? Second rounder. Neighborhood, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome to the show. Just caught us in the middle of our first break of the day. Box one. Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. And there's Max Muncy. Purple paper to 250. That'll be for Chad, who has my Dodgers. We've got a refractor to 499, Everson Pereira for the Pereira, for the Yankees. And another Dodger paper to 250, Miguel Vargas. And a Chrome Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, 
And those Bobby Wood Juniors going to Zach Paul and the Royals. Got a paper one, now a chrome one. Trifecta autograph one. Numbered paper, numbered chrome. Superfecta. All of the above, is Zach? Why not? Chrome, Jason Dominguez. Nice too. Maybe hit the superfecta for the uh, for Matt Lodrich as well. Let's get a paper one, numbered paper, an auto, spanning the globe, top 100. Let's get it all. There's Yasel De La Cruz for the Braves. Greg, Greg B. Of course, there'll be an autograph and. Dominguez, Pawson, Witt recap at the very end. And other low numbered hits. I was going to say anything out of 25 and under, but 25 is only orange, and that's only in hobby. This is jumbo. All right, Jumbo 1, Box 1 in the books. Pick your team. No, check that. Random Team 5. Good start so far. Just started this break. We should be done with this in about, oh, I don't know. What time is it right now? 45 minutes or so. I'm going to have to go through some orders, but I'm pretty sure that Noir Basketball... Uh, is sold out. So that should be the next break. I have to double check, but I think that filled first. Now we do have more Bowman baseball close as well. I think there's another, there's a jumbo pick your team break. No, no jumbo pack or no team random, no mini break or anything like that yet. If we fill that up, we can knock that out and maybe when we do that later today, we'll have Nick's help and this jumbo break will go even faster. So if you're worried about, oh, but what if it gobbles up too much time? It, it won't. Especially the jumbos. Jumbos are a breeze. And with three autographs a box, even if you're just spectating, I think, it, I think it's a little more entertaining too. Traditionally, from what I, from what I remember, and maybe this is just anecdotal evidence, I, don't, I haven't really kept track of it. But people seem to say that the hobby has the nicer color, the parallels, and the jumbos tends to have the nicer autographs. Although I think we've pulled Dominguez autographs in both, so. All right. Jumbo box number two, random team five. Good luck. I guess the one guy we haven't seen yet is Robert Pawson, right? It's Jackson Coar. There's Mason Denneberg, purple chrome, the 250 for the Nats. And for the Cardinal, Nats is Nick K. And for the Cardinals, that's uh, Alvaro Cejas, refractor autograph to four ninety nine. That will be for Jason Cox and the Cardinals. There's our first Robert Pawson paper for the A's, Matt Stone. 
don't recall seeing too many of the, well, I personally haven't pulled an autograph of his. Maybe others have, Jason or Jason Jaspi or Nick Jaspi, but Joe Jaspi is not. It's another goal of mine. Superfractor, Robert Poston autograph. I think I've pulled a Dominguez autograph or two, a base autograph or two. I've pulled a couple Bobby Witt Jr. autographs. I don't mind pulling more of those two guys. But a Robert Poston autograph it doesn't seem to jump out at me. I don't think I have. Although it's all kind of a blur. Maybe someone else remembers if I have. Previous A's owner, maybe. Yes, yeah, so like, yeah, you got me one. Jazz Chisholm, purple paper to 250 for the Marlins. That'll be for Josh. You don't think White Herb's going to let, let it go that easily, do you? They're in for a reckoning. Tombstone, AMC. At least on the West Coast. There is Grant Little, Padres. Jeff Fractor with that. Vinny saying, finally? Finally what? If I. I'm not sure what you're. Fi finally. Bobby with Junior Paper. It's another one for Zach Paul and the Royals. You called down the thunder, now you got it. Wow, love that line. Tanner Hawk to 150. Blue Chrome for uh, Matt Gomes and the Boston Red Sox. Francisco Mejia for the Padres to 499. Hopefully, hopefully he turns out to be a big name in the hobby, big catching prospect from Indians, I think. I don't think the hitting is going to be a problem. I think the glove might be an issue. And we got a Bobby Bradley. Speaking of the Indians, rookie autograph to 499 for the Tribe. That'll be for Brian Zeller. Vinny's not answering. Vinny might be lagging behind. Vinny, make sure you're watching live. Everyone make sure you're watching live. Sometimes you could be lagging behind. Maybe you paused the video and forgot to click the live button next to your volume. So always double check that. Or maybe refresh the, the page. Jason Dominguez paper. Or refresh the app if you're watching on a mobile device. Jason Dominguez Chrome. Nice. Two nice Domingai for Matt Lordich and the Yankees. So there's the chrome Jason Dominguez. There's the paper Jason Dominguez. All of these might be worth grading. If you end up getting a lot of these, I don't know, save some, sell some. If you really think he's going to be a big prospect, save some. Save some, sell some. Maybe grade all of them. Baseball is really interesting. Baseball is more of a 
sort of a long-term investment. Basketball, if you want more immediate profits, maybe basketball might be the way to go. But baseball, if you, if you hit it right on baseball, uh, let's just say, look at that trout autograph. Uh, out of five, I think, whatever it was, that went for almost a million dollars, $900,000. So there's definitely a more of a long-term, hi Nick, more of a long-term investment in baseball, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Because, I don't know, Zion's a little more immediate. I mean, he has to get to Michael Jordan level before he's going to... Yeah, unless you buy high on guys who are going to get Yeah. The... But this is such, like the, the I guess the, what, what's the return on investment? You're spending a lot for Zion, and he's going to sell for a lot. But this, you're not. You're, Yankees are relatively cheap compared to what you could get with Jason Dominguez later on. Oh, Vinny's saying the Noir. I think you're lagging behind, Vinny. Be sure to double check that. Might be a few minutes behind. You're lagging by about five solid minutes, maybe. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, do you need a knife? Oh, no, you got one. No, maybe the camera will be. Okay. All right, so you can see Nick on the Nick cam right above my head. We'll make that a little bit larger so you can see him pack stack it stack it and pack it pack it and stack it Got a Fernando Tatis Jr. purple paper to 250, and a Jason Dominguez spanning the globe chrome, and an Isaac Paredes to 499 for the Tigers. That'll be for Matt Gomes. Another Jason Dominguez going to Matt L. Orich. Ooh, and an Atomic coming up. And it's a Jesus Lazardo spanning the globe atomic to 150. That'll be for Matt and the A's. Nice. And a John Diaz. Tampa Bay Rays autograph going to Stephen Blanchett. Tampa Bay Rays with that one. Paper Dominguez. another one for Matt. half of this jumbo box and we've got a Zach Hess refractor autograph for Matt Gomes and the Tigres, the Detroit Tigers. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a Chrome Robber Possum right there for Matt Stone. Back to back Matt. Got an Aqua Shimmer to 125, Antonio Cabello. Camilla's brother. Paper, Bobby Witt Jr. right there on top. Watch out, Nolan Jones. Another Royal for Zach Paul. Logan Davidson to 499. Give me a minute. Refractor. A's. I think we've got a yellow parallel coming up here. And autograph. Can't tell what team it is from my peripheral vision. Now I see it. It's for the Braves. 8 out of 75. Yesel de la Cruz. Greg with the Braves, Greg B. And we got Victor, Victor Mesa, Robert Pawson. Paper, his name is Robert Pawson. Some chrome and more paper. And that box is now complete. On to the next. Of a jumbo box. Half of a jumbo box. Half of a jumbo box. Thank you, Nick. And the other half of a jumbo box. And away we go. Chatty boy, what's going on? Your first post, it's Chad. Hi, Chad. I gathered by your username. LA's your team too. Lived in LA for like 10 years. Nice. Where do you do you still? I suggest you're not in LA anymore. Where are you now? Yeah, hopefully we get some baseball back this year. I'd love to see the boys in blue back in action. Dem bums. We got uh, Grant Levine to 4.99 for the Rocks. We got a Bobby Wood Jr. insert right here. Chrome insert 25 for Zach Paul. Another Dominguez paper for Matt Lordich and the Yankees.
Let's flip that over here. Dominguez Chrome. And we've got a Rookie of the Year favorites, Eresides Aquino autograph to 150. Twenty out of one fifty for the red legs. Why am I why am I blanking on who won the rookie of the year last year? <laughs> Was it him? No, right, Pete Alonzo, duh. I feel like if maybe if he was playing an entire season, he might have he might have given Alonzo a run for his money, I wanna say. Yankees, Matt Lordage. Yeah, Pete. There's Jason Dominguez right there. It's, Aquino didn't really play. He slugged a lot of dingers, but it was in a very short period of time. And we got a speckle, Helio Ramos, to 299 for the Giants. That'll be for Matt Gomes. There's, there he is right here. That's all. Ryan Harold saying, "Listen, Pete Alonzo. That's that's all we uh, salty Mets fans have going for us right now. Is is he the real deal? Is Pete Alonzo the real deal? There's Robert Poss, and that wasn't a fluke, right? I don't think it is. Cause I feel like the I feel like those numbers were strong from start to finish." It would have been one thing if he did all his damage, say, in the first half of the season or something like that. But it, from what I remember, it seems like millions of years ago, but from what I remember, it seemed like he had a pretty solid season from start to finish. Because, there you go, Ryan. Yeah, that, I was going to say the exact same thing. He slumped for a month and then adjusted. And based on that, Ryan Harold thinks he's the real deal. Yeah, that's always what people say, right? And it's one thing to come out slugging, you know, if you've got that raw talent, which Alonzo does. But then it's another thing to adjust, for a rookie especially, mid-season to adjust to, uh, to how pitchers are adjusting to him. And then keep hitting. Bobby Witt Jr., Royals paper for Zach Paul. Yeah, Jack B thinks that the uh, NL East is going to be a tough division this year. And there's Lency Delgado, blue chrome to 150, going for, going to the White Sox. That'll be for Nate Miller. Trevor Bauer said that he looks forward to playing for the Dodgers one day. I did, I did not hear that. What prompted him to say that? I'm sure that's not going to make his current employers happy. There's Wilfred Astudio. That's William's brother. For the Metropolitans. That'll be for Mike. It'll be for Mike uh, Lacefield with the Mets. A lot of different Mikes in this break. Another refractor autograph, Marie, Mario Feliciano for Mike Samich this time and the Brew Crew.
Casey Mize right there. And nice J.J. Blade. 13 out of 50 gold autograph. He's got a nice auto, too. That goes to Josh Levine and the Marlins. That's a big top five pick, I think, from last year. Yeah, fourth overall. A lot of, a lot of ex expectations for him in Miami, rebuilding. Again. Maybe, hopefully, for the last time. Jack thinking that the Marlin troubles may be, may be hinged on that Jose Fernandez boating accident. Yeah, that, that was that was certainly uh, a shame, that's for sure. And then they sold the team not too long after that, right? Or was that, yeah, because that wasn't under, that wasn't under that Jeter ownership leadership group. And then I think Jeter decided to do the whole, the high risk, high reward tanking thing. And he just dumped the entire team basically. There's Bobby Dalbeck to 150. Matt Manning, Blue Shimmer to 150. And we've got for the Padres, Joey Cantillo. That is for Jeffrey Fractor and the Padres. Yeah, Mike Baerga saying the same thing. Remember Carlos Baerga, Mike? Uh, but yeah, he's saying you need players that bring fans to see him. Jose Fernandez, right? Cuban national. Had, and had the personality, too. Brought people to the ballpark. And yeah, that just that set everything back. Dude was electric. I, I mean... I think I think he could have just he could have been a star not just in Miami but just in baseball. There's Esteban Floriel to seventy five, yellow chrome.
Dominguez paper. That'll be for Matt L. and the Yankees. Another one. Speaking of Yankees, Jack B. saying, hey, maybe, maybe, hopefully Jeter, Madden can bring some of that old Yankee ingenuity back to, to the Marlins. There is a Tony Drabell to two ninety nine. Goes to Mike Lacefield with the Metropolitans. Wow. I'm your Huckleberry. Watching Tombstone. Three jumbo boxes left. There's half of one. Half of another. Half of one. Half of the other. You can see on the top screen right there, we got one more jumbo box left. Almost there, folks. Uh, we're, we'll go through some more orders after this, but I'm pretty sure that Noir Basketball, I think, is after this one. So once I finish off this break, clear it away, get it ready for the shipping team. We'll get the next thing going. And then the next... And then the next, and then the next. All right, we got Alvaro Cejas to four ninety nine. This is a good show down here. Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. Matt Stone. Chrome. Robert Pawson also going to Matt Stone. Nice. Jeremy Pena to 299, 14 out of 299. Speckle autograph for Mike Samich and the Astros on board with the on the board with the Stros here, Mike. Got the Jason Mingus spanning the globe autograph. Another Yankee for Matt. Paper Dominguez.
Uh-oh. Ryan Harold, self-proclaimed salty Mets fan, saying, the Yankee ingenuity, step one, juicing. Step two, hit lots of home runs. Win championships. People forgive you for the juicing. Jack counters with, hey, did Babe Ruth juice? Here's Adam Hall for the Orioles. Jeffrey Fragged. I think he had a different kind of juice. That's what Ryan Ryan's saying, too. He was hammered all the time. Probably not a P. I don't know. I don't know what stuff was legal back then. If anything, that makes it more impressive, says Ryan. Babe Ruth. Playing hammered. Slugging homers. Hammered. But I don't know. Who know who knows what was legal at those pharmacies back in the back in the day. Another JJ Bladé to one fifty. Miami Marlins, Josh Levine. And a Bobby Witt Jr. paper for Zach Paul. Aqua Shimmer, Tyler Freeman to 125 for Brian Zeller and the Indians. Killer is Doc Holliday. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good performance, I say. He's a pretty solid actor. Was there a, was there a rumor that Val Kilmer was deathly ill with cancer, or was the cancer thing a false rumor, or did he really have cancer, or he just beat it? I, I need my Val Kilmer experts in the chat. To step up. There's Cabrian Hayes to 150. Bowman Scouts, Atomic. That is for uh, the Pirates combo. Greg B, Diamondbacks Pirates combo. That's right, I'm your Huckleberry. Say when. Oh, he, so he did have some kind of throat cancer or something, but he beat it. All right, good for him. Nice. I think he's in, he's in the now delayed Top Gun 2, right, if I'm not mistaken? Kind of went off my radar with this whole... Pandemic craziness. Ooh, wow. Quinn Cotton, red autograph, three out of five. Red parallel for the Reds, Brady Thurston. That is nice. There you go, Brady. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! I wanted a super fractor in this break. This is pretty close though. Still, still have another box to go, so maybe, maybe we'll get it. I'm not sure what the word is on Quinn Cotton, but low numbered autograph out of here is always, is always nice. Eighth round pick. Hit first pro homer on on a five RBA R, RBI night for Billings last June. Hit at 331 as a junior at Grand Canyon University. Raked at a 390 clip with a 1.034 OPS in 2018. Stings pitches with a well leveraged cut. Uses upper body strength to uh, produce pole to pole power. Solid base runner can swipe a bag. Has played all three outfield spots. Earned a finance degree in three years. So smart guy maybe. 
loves burrito bowls at Chipotle, fan of hip-hop music, and originally drafted by the Rockies. Not bad. We got Dios Bell, Arias. You were just looking at the Bowman checklist, or the Reds checklist in Bowman. I pulled that, says Jeremy Anderson. Well, there's that guy. I haven't pulled the one of one yet. There's Ryan with the Rangers. Bobby Wood Jr. in that old Bowman design. Bobby Wood Jr. paper. So Zach Paul with a couple more here in the second to last box. Zach Paul with these two. Nice one, Zach. Uh, Zach, how do you feel about Zachs that spell their name? I don't know if you're still listening, Zach Paul, but how do you feel about Zachs that end their name with a K? Z-A-C-K. I think all the Zachs that we have, and we have a disproportionate number of Zacharies in our, uh, in our stream that join our group breaks, a lot of Zachs. We have, we have cornered the markets on Zach's. I think all of them are CHs. We don't have any CKs, all CHs. So now I'm wondering, is there some sort of, you know, is there some sort of uh, thing with that there? Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I get it now. CK is for the Gentiles. Got it. That makes sense. It's like like Sarah. CH Jews like you. Got it. I know I get it. Uh Nick Bennett to 150. That makes sense. Mason Denneberg, but I, I still think that even amongst the Goyim, I think the the CH spelling is still more popular. I don't see a lot of CKs, except for Zach Granke, I think is a CK, Zach Granke. Maybe White Sox prospect Zach Collins, I think might be a CK. But across the board, all right, there you go. Robert Poss and Chrome. Here's your Zach update for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Card investor, what's going on? How is the how is the investing going? Any investment tips for us? Buy low, sell high. Has there been an explosion in Zach's, Zach Paul is saying. You're probably right. My parents always tell me when I was a kid, 30 plus years ago, nobody was named Zach. And now everyone seems to. So everyone was on board with the Zach train. And now you start seeing it more often. Zach Paul, Zach Braff, Zach Collins, Zach Ranke. There's Glenn Allen Hill Jr. Yes, it's the son of Glenn Allen Hill. It's 299. That is for Greg and the Diamondback. Diamondbacks Pirates combo.
All right, last box right here. First half of the last box. Careful. Easy, Joe. There we go. Yeah, what about what about Zach Efron? No K, no H. Very ambiguous. I mean, I, it's, it, it is 2020, so that's his choice, Jack B. That's his choice. You know, if he identifies as just a ZAC. There's Andrew Vaughn. It's his choice. You know, it is 2020. But yeah, Efron decided to drop the C, or drop the K and the H. You don't see that too often. There's Sam Huff, Texas Rangers, Ryan, Ryan D with the Rangers. Mike Trout to four ninety nine paper. Paper Dominguez right here. It's true, Ryan Harold. Zach Efron may have had the uh, the uh, the somewhat rare Z A C. K H spelling and said, "Screw it, I, I don't identify as a K or an H. Dropping both, living my own life. I want the chrome there and the paper here. All right, Eric Rivera, purple chrome for the Angels, 004 out of 250. That's Mark Bissett and the Halos." What's next on AMC? U.S. Marshals? Is that is that the uh, Fugitive sequel? Or was it not more of not a sequel, but more of that more of a spin-off, right? I think that was the movie that kind of kind of launched Tommy Lee Jones, who didn't really have a lot of mainstream success. He was still kind of a little bit on the older side as far as. Emerging actors go. And now you like the biggest complainer shipping. Showed up in The Fugitive and then kind of blew up. Another one for Zach Paul. And then I think he got a spin off movie, U.S. Marshals. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let's see. Let's see, Tommy Lee Jones. I think this is it. Chatty boy saying Hawaii to Oh, you know what chat I think I think you're lagging by about by about thirty minutes. Bobby Witt Jr. paper. Almost done here. Second half. I know, that's why I just realized that. That's why I typed in that extra stuff. 
Jack. Maybe Jack's lagging too. So just typed in. Maybe everyone's lagging. Maybe everyone's lagging. I'll remind everybody when this break is over. There's Zach Collins right there. Speaking of Zach's, right on cue. There's Matthew Libertor, purple paper to 250. El Canon, what's going on? You're in LA, can I stop by and watch you open some cards? From the parking lot, yes. Unfortunately, we are not open to the public, or not allowed to be open to the public yet. There's Fortius Nova to 125. Oh, that's not Bobby Wood Jr. It's just Dozier. And our last autograph, and Jason Dominguez right there. Last auto is Aaron Shortridge, Pittsburgh Pirates, Greg B. Wait, how are you in? Did you drive to LA? That goes to the Dimebacks Pirates combo. Traveling into California has been a little weird. All right, there's your break, boys and girls. Let me do a quick recap for you. You flew here. Did they not quarantine you? There was that nice red. I, th I think there's like some sort of self-imposed self-isolation thing that they're making you do. That was a nice J.J. Bladé too. There were a couple color J.J. Bladé autogra autographs that were pretty nice. Oh, we should stop this conversation, El Canon, before uh, this is on wax. <laughs> oh, there's another train whistle here, too, where federal officials track you down. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was your quick little recap there. That was Jumbo Random Team 5. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.